All right, it's time to talk cowbells and ring. Now, a lot of you that have purchased cowbells um, probably notice that they tend to ring out. Different cowbells ring more than others. I'm not gonna get into why. Of course, they're made of metal. <laughs> they're kind of made to ring. But sometimes we don't want them to ring as much as they do ring. And I wanna give you a couple quick, easy tips how to mitigate the ring. Okay, real quick. Tape, all right? I put a little bit of electrical tape on this. You can use duct tape. Um, just clean the bell, of course. Put the tape on carefully. Uh, I wouldn't go crazy with the tape. This one sounds like this right now. I'm playing it softly because I'm using one mic right now. So that's a nice amount of ring. That's like a medium ringy bell. Let's check this one. Now, you probably won't be able to, it's still ringing. You probably won't be able to hear all that ring unless you're using good speakers at home or you're using earbuds or headphones. But this rings a long time. Now, there's no tape on this. This is like a brand new bell, a uh, Tycoon Mambo Bell or Campana uh, Bongo Bell, as it's sometimes called. So I might want to reduce the ring. Now, you could do the tape, but another thing that you could try, and I kind of mangled this, this is a little gummy thing. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. A guy gave it to me at last year's NAMM show. Now this used to be attached like that. It's actually for a drum. It's very sticky, as you can see. The, uh, but it, it doesn't um, leave a residue, which is nice. So I was experimenting. I'm gonna just take one of these pieces. Um, these are for drums to reduce the, the vibration, the ring on a drum, and you usually put the, you can put these anywhere on the drum head, uh, including l overlapping with the edge. I'll try to find information on this and put a link below, but I mean, you could search these too. So I um, did experiment on this cowbell with this thing, and now what I like about this is that it's quick and you can change it quickly. So let's listen again. I'm gonna try to not mute the bell at all with my hand. All right, which is another way you can obviously mute a bell. But we're not talking about that right now. That's technique. This is just more of a, of a permanent or semi-permanent fix. So let's just place this right there. This stuff's really sticky. Um, well, not that sticky. If you leave it on for a while, it tends to kind of make itself at home. Um, all right, so there it is. Now let's listen to the bell. So it's still having some long ring. The shorter ring is reduced. You can experiment, put it out towards the end. And this is what you have to do when you, when you want to reduce the ring in any instrument, you need to experiment and find a point at which it's, it's giving you the sound that you want. So that got rid of a lot of the overtone ring uh, I'll move it back here just, just for fun. Let's see if it does anything down here. It may not do too much way down here. Yeah, a little. So if you want to get rid of the high end ring, I would go for something close to the mouth. And of course, we're not going to play that side. We're going to play this side. Right? So that would be on the bottom, but I wanted to just show you on the video. So that's another option. So you've got uh, tape, of course. You can put a little piece of foam. People put like band-aids in there, bandages, anything to uh, reduce the vibration. But I would say uh, tape or check this thing out, this gummy stuff, and uh, you might have good luck with that, especially in a recording situation where you want to change things quickly. You know, you can't be making people wait around while you're like wrapping, taping, and doing a lot with that. So I like the little gummy, I don't even know what it's called, a uh, overtone reducer tablet pad. Um, I like it for quick changes, maybe studio work in that setting or, or longer term, it's fine. You can, and you can swap these from instrument to instrument a lot easier than the tape, but tape's good for a long-term fix. Um, you can, you know, get, get your bells the way you want them, the way you like them with the tape and just leave it like I have on this. This has been on here for years. All right. 
Okay, that's what I have for you in this quick uh, tip lesson. As always, like and subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in a future lesson. Thanks for tuning in to World Drum Club.